This is the most expensive 5 star hotel in New Zealand that has ever been constructed. Wanna find out more what is it like staying here? What's up guys, so welcome back to another hotel review and today we'll be reviewing our last hotel in New Zealand and we are saving the best for the last because we are reviewing Park Hyatt. And if it sounds familiar, it's part of Hyatt's group which consists of Grand Hyatt as well. Park Hyatt is actually the cream of the crop and it's said to be the best and most luxurious hotels of Hyatt group. And it's so exclusive that there are only 45 hotels in 25 different countries and majority of these countries are large cities like New York and Sydney. But why Singapore don't have? And this 5 star hotel comes with 195 different rooms and suites and if you are as excited as us, let's carry on with the video with the check-in experience. And now talking about the overall check-in experience, it was really 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 good. Service was just top notch and all in all it took 10 minutes. Our luggages are also being taken by the friendly staff and it was very really good. So yeah, really cream of the crop of the entire Hyatt lineup. So without further ado, let's begin with the room tour. So guys, so let's begin the room tour of Park Hyatt King Bed Harbour View and immediately when you step into the room, there's this entry walkway over here to put your shoes. Stepping further right into it is the sort of the mini bar area. Coffee machine over here, mini bar over here and right below the drawers over here, you have your typical stuff like your coffee, your tea, your snacks, your glasses and all your cups. Overall mini bar area looks really really posh and right in the mini fridge itself, there are a couple of things but it has to be paid. Moving further on into the room, one of the more weirder kind of layout of this entire room is as you can tell it's just the water closet and the entire toilet is located on the other side of the room but toilet wise looks very very spacious take down almost 50% of marble and it looks really really posh and if you're wondering what's the size you can see more than enough space even for me uh, left and right very very spacious toilet roll over here as usual in New Zealand toilets there are no bidet and stepping out of the wash closet area there's the aircon remote over here very very idiot proof and right beside the aircon remote there is the walk-in wardrobe and it's super spacious as you can see Rose is sitting there safe over there and 16 hangers unfortunately there's no extra pillow or blanket over at the top and right below it provide your typical stuff like your bedroom slippers your laundry bags and so on and so forth and stepping into the sleeping area we have a king size bed with four pillows super duper large and as you can see right behind me two bedside tables two bedside lamps one side has a telephone the other side has a magazine and on both bedside table there's the control panel for all the lights two usb and also two electrical plugs to me the design of this entire sleeping area looks really Really, really nice and as you can see super duper spacious and this is only 47 square meters imagine the rooms that are 65 square meters moving further into the room before heading to the toilet right behind me we have the living area it can basically fit six people here rose can sleep there if she wants we have a square table here as well and a l-shaped sofa and what's special about it is that there are certain input or electrical outlets on the side of this bed that makes it really really easy for you to charge your stuff wow, we can have dinner here and watch tv there Speaking of the TV, I would say it's 60 inch ish, I guess. LG TV, can you pull out the TV or not? You can. So, definitely, HDMI is possible. Unfortunately, we are doing this hotel review at night, so there's not much views, but we are located on level 3. And as the name of the room suggests, Harbour View. So, we have the view of the. Say with me! Harbour. Currently, you can just see the reflection and a couple of lights. But we do have the awesome view of the Auckland Sky Deck, Sky Center, Sky something. Here's the correct name on the screen. Okay, guys. So one thing that I want to add is that many hotels and accommodations in New Zealand do not have a lot of mirrors or even do not have any mirrors. But this hotel room have a lot. One mirror here, two inside here, the third one in the walk-in wardrobe, the fourth one with lighting. And this one, I don't know how to see myself. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> and now stepping into the last segment of this entire hotel tour, room tour, we are entering the toilet. Almost half of a entire living room for certain hotels. Standing shower, rain shower, hand shower. And if you want to see the size, very very spacious. Chair as well. One thing I like to highlight is that control panel of the entire toilet is over here. But the rain shower and hand shower is over here. So you know sometimes when you want to test the water, then you press, then you have to siam. But then this way you just press, and then you just feel. Moving further into the toilet, we have a his and her sink. More than enough 
wash basin area for you to put all your stuff and you have two bottles of water two towels two cups electrical plug for your hair dryers as well and one side has a tissue box both sides has a bar of soap and the pimple popping mirror really really cool and right below it there's two drawers and two towels and one drawer has the hair dryer and the other drawer has the toothbrush toothpaste and all the other things that you always want to steal and moving on to rose favoritous part of the entire toilet and probably her entire life is the bathtub. Bathtub wise looks relatively small unfortunately. We have definitely seen larger bathtubs. Can it fit two people? So yeah it can apparently fit two people surprisingly but it looks really really cramped and small. And looking around the entire toilet it's decked out in almost 90% marble. Really really atas. In terms of flooring for the entire room it's decked out in timber planks and for the toilet it's marble tiles and overall looks really really clean but can it pass the finger test? Cream of the crop. Little bit dusty. Oh, dusty, dusty. So unfortunately, it's slightly dusty. I wouldn't say it's super duper clean, but the floor overall looks relatively clean. So I would say it's 8.5 or 9.10. Good job, Hyatt. Always room for improvement. It's time for... Babies! Oh, 10 out of 10. No, 12 out of 10. <laughs> The room that we're staying in is called King Bed Harbour View with a size of 47 square meters and a price of $350 per night. And we booked this through Traveloka and we have a small discount of $20 ish there about so a grand total of $330 average per night. These vouchers also do not come with breakfast so do take note of that. And I do want to add that if you are planning to stay here you can consider the King Bed Deluxe reason being that is 65 square meters very very huge but it doesn't come with a view and now talking about the location of Park Hyatt Auckland is actually located within the harbour area and minutes away from the city centre won't really dive too deep into the location but right opposite the hotel itself there's a convenience store for you to buy all your necessities and it's only less than 30 minutes to the international airport but do take note Auckland being a very large city there are gems So guys, so now it's day three, in fact, of our stay at Park Hyatt, and it has been a very, very wonderful stay. So now we're gonna go through the facilities. We won't be doing breakfast because we didn't go for the buffet breakfast, but it is actually fifty New Zealand dollars per day. But they actually gave us a ten dollar discount, so they offered us a forty New Zealand dollars. So we still rejected because it's slightly a little bit expensive, forty per person. So now I'm gonna talk about the facilities. There's a gym and there's also an infinity pool apparently, twenty five meters. But during our stay it's under construction so we are not able to check it out but here are a couple of pictures of it but for the gym wise i would say it's decent there are a lot of cardio machines but not enough benches for the dumbbells and not a lot of space for the free weights there's also a section on the other side with barbells and for supposed mobility exercises i guess but definitely the entire layout of the gym can be done up better oh yeah and one more thing if you're planning to drive here in auckland do remember that their parking is quite limited so if you want to do parking with the hotel it's valet service and it costs 60 new zealand dollars per Day. But there are a couple of car parks around the area that charges at a cheaper rate But you do have to walk a slight distance There are also a couple of parallel parkings on the outside of the hotel But if you are lucky you manage to get that slot Because it's usually full whenever I see one So welcome to the end of this hotel review and I must say the service is top notch But the view of the room is not that top notch And we are paying a couple of extra bucks to get this view But apart from that overall everything else is almost perfect So overall for me the rating I would say it's a 9.10 To be honest I think yeah the view is harbour But then the yacht is not moving <laughs> Apart from that yes because again we are travelling Not having a staycation here so we didn't really spend a lot of time in this room however with the minimum amount of time that we spend here everything is just excellent so yes i also give it a 9 out of 10 but cannot beat grand hired kl <laughs> watch that there to understand why you say that yeah so if you love this video remember to like and subscribe so i hope this video has helped you find a accommodation or hotel when you're traveling to new zealand or if you're a local here looking for a staycation so thank you see you guys in the next one Bye-bye. No more New Zealand content. Uh...